This is Channel 13 Action News in High Definition with Nina Radetich and Steve Wolfer. Weather first with meteorologist Brian Schofield. Action Sports with Sports Director Doug Kazarian. And breaking news from the Action News Hub. And some other well-known celebs are making an appearance in a modern version of the Bible. Some say it's a creative way to spark new interest in the New Testament, while others say it's a little off the charts. Jessica Lovell joins us with a look so you can decide for yourself. Jessica. Well, Steve, Dina, believe it or not, this is it, actually, and it's all about the interpretation here. We've got celebrities, popular sports figures, and a lot of modern-day tragedy. They are all used to spread the word of the New Testament, but no surprise that some people just aren't buying it. It is eye-catching because when you first look at it, it does look like a magazine. It's no magazine. As you turn the pages of Bible Illuminated, you may notice some familiar faces, though, but not of biblical time. A new interpretation of the Bible has been released, and its contemporary style has some questioning its effectiveness. With the pictures of it, like Angelina Jolie and everything, that, I think that kind of takes away from the intensity of what the Bible would be to me. Bible Illuminated uses 20th century images and people to help interpret the word. There are a lot of mixed feelings about this so-called new version of the New Testament. Some people think it's an opportunity to reach out to those looking for faith, while others think it's just too far off the beaten path from traditional religion. The, the Bible, when you try to condense it into something like this, especially the New Testament, I don't think it's a good thing at all. A little bit too update for the Bible for me. Um, I'm more of a traditional religious person. But I don't think there's anything wrong with using people who are in the media or in the entertainment business as role models because a lot of them do a lot of good. Some experts say it's important to keep in mind that it's the editor's interpretation as to what images depict what scripture. Either way, people will choose to turn the page or close the book on the oldest book in history. And we did check around today, and the new Bible is available at Barnes & Noble, and you can also order it through several local Christian bookstores. I'm Jessica Lovell, Channel 13, Action News. Interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs>